<laughs> Hold on. So I'm pretty sure there's chocolates in here. And I know there's like a few other things. Yeah, so I'm going to start on the weekly pack. I still don't know how to play this one though. Like there's a load of weird stuff in it. And there's actually not too many more things I need. Like there's armadillo, there's these two. These two and tap it. Hmm. I feel like Pug is possible, but I may do that in a, uh, in a pack three thing. We did that last week quite a bit. Pack three seems not terrible. All right, for now, I think I buy this first and freeze this. So then I guarantee that the stats go on the cricket, which I really wanted. All right, it will be the fizzy, fizzy copycats. Let's go. <laughs> Can you pick level three? Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to do that one. Like, it doesn't actually sound like it's going to be too bad. There is bison in this pack, right? I think so. Yeah, there is. He's right at the back. Alright, so yeah, we buy this. Mama says it's not terrible. Uh, maybe I roll for more duplicates. If I can find another one of those two, then it's great. So we did, and we did find a mosquito. <laughs> he's, he's a little late, but it's fine. It's still good. Is the new weekly pack out already? No, this is the same weekly pack, I think. I believe so. It's a guinea pig bison combo. That depends. I don't think I'm going to buy like every early guinea pig I see. Oh, starfish. There's only like two cell things here though. There's the pig and the little chin well, the pig and the chinchilla. Is that it? <laughs> There's no way I can go starfish. I mean like I could take it now and it might not be terrible terrible, but it's uh it's interesting. Which you did find one. This is also great. Alright, I'll freeze both of those. Uh, move that like this, I guess. This seems fine. Honestly, I feel like we could win this one. It's a pretty good team. Have I tried Frigate Bird, Blowfish, Porcupine? I have. I can't remember if I ever actually got the win with a level 3 Frigate Bird, though. Or if I even made it that far. Alright, uh, so I'm probably keeping the Otter, so I may combine there so this doesn't hit like both of them. Let's do that. Bye, Otter. Rabbit, don't really care. Let's roll a bit first. Another one of those. Alright. This double cell hit. Love the hit, because that's going to be level 2 next turn. Yeah. <laughs> no more cell things. Really doesn't seem amazing. This starfish was basically just like an otter, but we had to buy other things to trigger it. Not amazing. That's very scary. No. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> the extra damage actually, like, traded. What's a frigate bird? It's this is the red bird that buffs uh, the hurt trigger things, which we actually do have a big peacock. We could take this. I could like scale it with a cucumber as well. Armadillo, also something that I need, and also a hurt pet. I'm going to try to keep both, I think. And I'm not touching the <laughs> the guinea pig. I think I'll take this because I don't mind if that gets the extra stuff. It did, and I'm gonna start scaling that first. Okay. So, turtle's interesting, but I think we'd rather... There's no garlic or lemon. Okay, not great for a hurt build, but <laughs> we'll manage. I'm gonna leave this. I think I roll for, like, frigate birds. Maybe more peacocks, because we do have to keep that. This is also amazing. Easy take. Probably freeze a cucumber for this. We don't need pineapple for anything. Right. I'm going to do that. I just hope it doesn't get one shot. If I can get two triggers out of that, not including it, some. Um, Death ability, I suppose. Yeah. Hey, it made a difference. It made a big difference. And it is enough to get a win, I believe. <laughs> that synergy, let's go. There's not much of one. It's mostly just for a gate bird and a couple of hurt things. But I'm all for it. Alright, I'll keep buying those. I do not like where those went. <laughs> we really needed those to go in other places. Uh, I don't think we can do anything with that. I don't really care about any of these equipment things either. I'd rather like scaling equipment whenever that comes out. I'm gonna leave this and roll for more like frigate birds and uh, none of this. Okay, we're fine. There's no boat in sap yet. You know what? I'm actually not sure how I'd feel about them adding other vehicles in. Like we already have a bus, so like they could do. But what if they did? Wait, change hat and change background on no more. Oh, hold on. I changed that towards the end of the last stream. Let me. Let me get that back uh, <laughs> back up. Where are they? There you go. They should be available again. That is my mistake. I forgot I disabled them. 
Okay. And we, we just keep rolling. I want armadillos. I want frigate birds, definitely. I'll take more of these. I will also buy cans, because eventually something has to go. Honestly, these aren't too bad, but they don't do a lot here. Pug could be interesting with armadillo as well. If I can't level it, but I'd rather just find other things. Uh, I don't think we can do the frigate bird. Like, what I could do here is, like, sell the frigate birds, uh, buy canned food and a peacock. Then we'll have, like, a very big peacock. <laughs> kind of. Or maybe the porcupine. I don't know how many, like, sniper things people are doing. There is some, like, late game sniper stuff going on, but not a lot earlier than, like, the mosquito. Yeah, I mean, there is... Actually, no, a lot of people will be doing blowfish. I think we can survive by taking this. I will leave the peacock. I don't think we get that to level 3. I don't see it happening. No baseball, only inventions. Okay. <laughs> Four guys later, let's go. Yeah. As always, I've been craving it. I do enjoy Fall Guys. And it's been like... How long has it been? Like two weeks? I don't even know. Alright. Uh, Inventor hats. I believe that was the only... Dinner redeem. No, we did have a grassy lands for the baseball hat. <laughs> there is no baseball hat, but you will have the grassy lands. The field. Wait, did you make... Wait. Did you make where we can't burn our eyes? Yes, I did. <laughs> I don't want my eyes to get burned either, so... We're out of that. Alright, just don't hit the cricket. Anything else is fine. Cool. Always hit the cricket. And that is scaling, but next time we can just find monkeys, and I feel like a whole squad of monkeys will be way more useful for us. Oh, that's great. Uh, what do I do here? I could free... Oh, I could buy a can, freeze the otter. I could <laughs> sell something for the squirrel. I don't think I'd do that. We have a lot of HP. I think I could afford to just buy a can and freeze that and get a tier 6 to buy next turn. Probably going to leave the parrot. It does depend what I get. Like, if I got a white tiger, then a parrot would be amazing. But I don't think it's worth freezing. There are tier 5s next turn. We can wait. Let's just send it. What achievements am I missing? From this pack, there's like Tapir, Pug, uh, I don't think I have anything here. There's a few things. There's a lot of things. There's like 30. Or 29? I don't know. But there's so many pets in this game. Alright, Vulture could be a win. Like a winning strategy. I don't need it anymore, but I do need that still. Alright, let's just buy it. I'd rather see what we get. And <laughs> it's a white tiger. I think we could do White Tiger Vulture. I think that is very possible. And honestly, I think we probably get rid of the Armadillo. Not yet, but for now, maybe this. And then we just need to look for like a parrot and then other summon things. I'm going to abandon the scaling. I don't think we're doing scaling. I think we're just going to try and like get this to pop off for us. So I will take... Honestly, I think this sheep is just going to be better than like something here. Like the Armadillo. <laughs> I legitimately think a sheep is better. Parrot is amazing. We have won the run, I believe. Honestly, shark works well as well, but I'd rather go, like, double vulture or something if I can. And, uh, yeah, let's move that a little further back. I think this is fine. Now <laughs> waiting for the parrot. Yeah, we've got it. It is set. Now I just need to... It's going to feel like a waste, because I'm still going to try and get a level 3 thing on my team. And it's, you know, <laughs> it's still going to get hit by the white tiger parrot combo, but... Yeah, we're fine. Why do you still have crickets? I mean, because it's really big and it summons a thing for the my level 3 vulture. That is why. Alright, so... We have that. I do want to find a better resummon thing. Although, yeah, no, I need to Anteater. And I don't believe I've seen any. <laughs> there's also not really defensive equipment. Mushrooms would be really nice. May start, like... No, there's no time. We need to roll for experience and Anteaters. None of these are anteaters. That is nicer than a cricket. But I don't think it's worth taking. I think we can survive without and really need to... <laughs> we need to hard roll for anteaters. Please. They have to be somewhere. Somewhere out there. They must exist. Nine ten is really big. It is really big. My shop is also really big at the moment, but... We can... Oh. Did I do something wrong? I think the parrot wasn't high enough attack. Or too high attack, sorry. I didn't even see, and thank you for the hydration. Yeah, it's too high, okay. Hmm. Mm. Okay. 
So I don't know whether I keep the chocolate frozen then, because it'd be much better to find... <laughs> Hold on. A triangle is gods! Thank you for the tier 3 sub! That is huge! Thank you very much, extremely big shot. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put pineapple in here. Uh, I may just unfreeze the chocolates and try and find... I don't even know, because there's no, like, targeted attack food. It would have to be... It would have to be a cupcake, like, every turn. Yeah, I can't even, like, buy and sell other things. Okay, I'm gonna put chocolates on here, and that gets it, like, one thing higher. I know the XP itself sucks. Oh, no, there is a pack. Good. There we go. Combo now works. We don't need the Vulture level up. Uh, we do still need... We do still need Anteaters, though, and I don't think it's going to happen. Hey, he survived. <laughs> That's bad news for everyone else. Okay. Alright. Uh, tap it. Tap is also pretty good. I think it is time to get rid of the crickets, and I can try and level this. I'm going to leave the uh, the pizza. I will level this, though. Because pizza, if it hits the parrot, then we're kind of screwed. And if it hits the other stuff, it doesn't matter too much. And this is something that I need. Of course, then an anteater shows up. Uh... I think we just lock in with that, right? I don't think it's worth selling the sheep for it. Maybe it is. That'll be pretty big. Ah, sure. We're probably not getting what we want anyway. I will... I guess I do go for it. I'm not sure which I go for first, but... <laughs> the tap area is going to be a bit rough. Is there seagull? There is, but there's no room for seagull. I need as many, like, spammy summon things as I can get. And that means, not seagulls, just summoners. Alright. Let's keep going for this. We need to... Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. It's probably the final turn. I don't think it's happening. Definitely don't need that. Oh, there you go. Leveling them up for no reason. Just in case I find, like, three in the shop at the same time next turn. Although, we might be dead here. Can we survive this? Oh, no. We survived this. Yeah, no worries. Easy win. <laughs> Alright. It was close, and honestly, this is proof that you can get stuff in this uh, this weekly, but we have to go again. There are too many things we need. Like, I feel like this is probably the easiest to get, in terms of it being something good on the team. I may try and go for a pug, because it is something you can get early and does combo with a lot of other things. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Alright, lovely start. I will say that is, like, my dream start. Maybe getting, like, three mosquitoes and then, like, <laughs> some otters in the shop is different, but... No, very happy with that. That parrot white tiger combo is so good to see. It's just really good. All around, just an amazing combo. Alright. Uh, well, that definitely doesn't need all the stats. i give it to the otter, maybe? So that'd be, like, a 4-2. Seems fine to me. Good day, Keynote and friends. Hello, Vessel. How dare you call me Keynote. <laughs> oh yeah, we're still doing fine. You should go chicken run. I mean, I do have a buy-sell build, which I may try later for some achievement hunting. I actually got the Jabo with that earlier. Anyway, what have we got? Turtle. Had to test the waters, I see. I don't like being tested. There's no way I go for guinea pig. I could sell the moth and the otter and then keep the guinea pig, but... It feels dumb. There is scaling next turn, though. Nah, let's go for the the pug if we can find it. I'm gonna leave this as well. Might scale that for a while. And that is a level up, so I will take it. Okay. Actually, no, I should have moved this to the back. Like, I don't mind the turtle getting the moth buff. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a waste, but we're fine. What would the plural of Kino be? Uh, maybe it is its own plural. It's like ox. Oh, no, that's oxen. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the plural would be. Are we doing viewer lobbies later? Yes, always. We have a docket command. Dockets. A mine triggered instead of maze. I assume. Unless I like snuck in in the middle. <laughs> oh, you don't need to apologize. It's fine. But yeah, we'll be doing it in like an hour and a half. Hour and 45. Somewhere around there. And I'm going to wait on this combination. I think I sell the moth before I <laughs> combine here. So let's just like, keep rolling a bit. Alright, that is something that I wanted. So I will take this. 
I'll try and make it work anyway. No more of that. So we haven't found any other things we need. So yeah, I'm going to let it go on that, because that's going to have, like, the most stats already, and it's already going to have Melanama, so... I feel like that getting a plus one, plus one in the fight is <laughs> slightly better. Yeah. Made no difference, but we won anyway. Kino is plural, the single <laughs> name is Keen. So I'm like a group of Keen. That's kind of worrying. Alright, anyway. Anteater, we found it! Uh, it's a bit weird, because I was really thinking I'd go for, like, Blowfish. Because it's, like, Blowfish for Gate Bird Pineapple here. But Anteater, it's so much harder to get. I don't know, I think I kind of mix up what I'm going for. Because there's no pills, so I could just get rid of that eventually. Yeah, no, I think i definitely get rid of this eventually. Maybe not, there's, there's actually no defensive equipment in this, barring maybe <laughs> Gorilla. Hmm. I think I can't leave the Blowfish behind. I will be taking the Anteater as well, just because it's good. Yeah. Let's do this for now. Maybe I should have done it the other way, because, you know, the 1-1 one, one probably isn't as good as the <laughs> Pineapple this turn, but I don't really regret it. Hmm. Seagull with this is pretty good, but again, there's no good, like, offensive equipment barring Meat Bone, so let's just leave that. Alright, so... Is this the order? That's the order. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should have frozen that instead. I feel like we have a safe team. I could probably just, like, scale health on this thing instead. We'd be just fine. Oh, we lost an ant. That is a shame. Poke behind Blowfish? Uh, yeah, he's there. Don't worry. Don't worry, I saw it at the end. I'm still debating whether I keep the turtle. Like, it is good defensive equipment. It's time for our Kino therapy. I'm not a therapist. Oh god, Maine, what's happening? Hello, Maine! Did I miss you? Of course. You should do an Overwatch stream on Saturday this week, because those streams are bussin'. I would like to do more. At the very least, whenever um, Overwatch 2 comes out, and I, I'm pretty sure it has a set date. Like, it's meant to come out next month, I think. <laughs> but, like, whenever that comes out, I will be doing Overwatch streams much more frequently. Not in instead of... um sap and stuff, but like, as bonus things on the other days. Because I will be playing a lot of that. <laughs> and hello, Baco. Alright, I think I'm going to leave the turtle. Like, we can manage with other things. I'm not buying that either. Ah, uh, fine. Fine. We still go for the pug because it is an achievement we need. That is scaling, and honestly, we have a lot of health, so I will take scaling on my blowfish. And now this is, like, nowhere useful, but... <laughs> That's fine, we'll survive. We don't need it. Uh, oh, he got shuffled in front! It's the best of both worlds. And we lose. <laughs> we do lose anyway, but that was amazing. Okay, definitely taking this. I probably do want to pivot to a Vulture squad later. But for now, I'm keeping my big blowfish. Yeah, this could probably go though. Eventually, not yet. And I know Pineapple also does quite a lot there, but we'll survive. That is amazing. And we already have the Vulture. Okay. Uh, well, now I don't know what to do. Maybe I get rid of the Giraffe this turn? Yeah, get rid of the Giraffe. Because now we just need to search for as many Anteaters as we can find, really. Hmm. I think this is probably the order. I think that's okay. No pug. I may have to get rid of the pug. Because like right now we can go for the anti for achievement in instead. But at the same time, I might be able to get both. So maybe I'll be greedy. <laughs> like this is kind of working. We have a winter hat redeem. Hold on. Winter. There we go. Snake boy, can I get some love before I go to sleep? What, what do you mean you want some love? You're going to head to sleep, but you want some love before you go to sleep. Ugh, sleep well, Maine. Sleep well. I mean it. And don't just, like, pretend you're going to sleep and come back, like, every five minutes for the next hour. <laughs> like you've done before. Actually, get some good rest, please. For both of us, because I need it too. I'm going to run these separately. I think getting rid of that and just having, like, a second <laughs> anteater in here. Or maybe that, because I'd be running that, like, at the front line. Nah, alright. It's time to get rid of the pug. We won't run that. Definitely not keeping this. We could take a pair, but I don't think we do. 
yeah. I like this. A second anteater is huge. Desert, because that's how my lungs feel. Kalu, can you not read? Oh. <laughs> you're getting some snow for the winter hats. Thank you, Kalu. And I hope your run wasn't completely painful. <laughs> Glad you survived. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're done the hats. We need snow field, right? Can you get a pat? Uh, do I have a pat emote? Wait. We do. All right, there you go, man. There's your pat. <laughs> oh god, there's roosters as well. Also great. I don't think I'll have a way to scale them, but they are spammy. And probably better than the blowfish. So, <laughs> if I can get that leveled up, then great. Scaling attack on it would be pretty good. So maybe I take a croissant. But I probably just get it to level two and then get give it a mushroom instead. So, <laughs> who knows? Yeah, still don't need any of this. Canned food is decent. Parrot is also pretty good. But it's not. We need a dead. We need a bad frontline anyway. Maybe a bus. Just something that summons one thing. Or maybe wait. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. At least for now, because we really do need to get this to level three. So I might as well just sub in something with a uh, similar stats. Ah, that's really bad. <laughs> they, how come they insta sniped my my vulture? It's not fair. Okay. It is scaling. It's scaling, I'll take it. Alright. We continue looking, and... There are so many places I could put this chocolate. <laughs> well, I think we're keeping the parrots. I think I have to keep the rooster as well, so maybe I level the rooster for now. Because, like, this is three plus... Yeah, it's three turns to find two anteater triggers. I think that's an idea. Honestly, that's pretty good as well. If I could, like, sub that in, give it, um... I don't know. <laughs> a mushroom. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I think we just have to trust that this is going to do something. Which I don't think it will, because there's no pepper or melon in this pack. Either way. I think we skip the, the mammoth. We don't really need stats. We need summons, so getting a bus or something is fine. No! <laughs> oh! What am I meant to do? Hard counted. Instantly got my vulture, and then instantly killed everything else. Oh god, this, is, this has been brutal. Alright, well, a bus is something I was asking for, so let's go. I'll take that. It's probably a bit of a downgrade. I don't think that does anything, so... <laughs> I, will, I will definitely put that there. And now this is interesting. I could mushroom the anteater and put it, like, really far back, so I could do, like, this. So then we get more vulture triggers, but all the stats will go onto the vulture, or the other ants, assuming this can live that long. I think that's still how I have to do it. Yeah, we have time to level the bus. That's fine. It's in 20 minutes. Need to run more. You need to run? Wait, did you not finish your run? But you need to go out again and appease the app gods. You need to burn 100 more calories. Oh. Okay. Have fun, Kalu. I hope you survive. <laughs> I actually may have trouble trying to record mine tomorrow because I just uh, realized my SIM card's dead. And I need to change it over. I don't know whether I'm going to be bothered to do that, like, after the stream or just before other stuff starts. Please. I'm so lucky he hasn't sniped my vulture yet. <laughs> oh, God. Mushroom vulture? But the, the snipe damage. I need it. Doing that. No, the anti that We got it. We got the level up. Okay, this thing needs survivability, though. Like, it does not feel good. Oh, now I don't even know what I can mushroom. Maybe it's worth swapping those around and mushrooming this. So we lose a chick, but we will get other things here. Obviously not yet, but, you know. <laughs> Eventually. Hell, it's only good if it hits that. I don't think it's worth taking. I'd rather just chocolate to this stage. We need to get lucky to not run into sniping teams. But that's like, that's like all we lose to. We lose to sniping teams, and <laughs> that's kind of it. Yeah, see? Like, this is fine. Absolutely no trouble. Pat behind the deer and mushroom the parrots. 
Mushroom the parrot. That doesn't really do anything. Definitely doing this. I'm not going to mushroom this. I know it keeps it alive, but I'd rather it like double the damage it does instead while it is alive. Instead of just be like, you know, it's <laughs> slightly more survivable. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So we're going to lose a chick, but it's a chick that has like six attack. Instead, we get an extra, what, two, five, five buses. I think that is a <laughs> good trade. And yeah, it's not worth going for that anymore. I could like try and get something on the parrots, but it's really just like scaling food. I don't know about that one, so let's keep rolling. We need level ups. I think a mushroom is fine. I think getting that on there is still good. Like it, it only summons another parrot, so it wasn't my priority in terms of the last mushroom we found. But at this stage, it does do something. It's another four damage plus, you know, <laughs> a one one. Might be worth it. It's, it's too late to get that. If I put it like in front of the vulture, then this thing is going to be shoved forward and we lose an ant and everything sucks. Yeah, I'm just going to roll it. Although maybe I should have taken the other anteater instead of the parrot. I think that would have been better. No! <laughs> Do we have enough? My anteater's at the back. We do, we do have enough. Oh, oh, we're fine, we're fine. If you face another croc, you're dead. I know, don't say it, <laughs> he'll make it happen. <laughs> Tap it. Now that's an idea, because I could put it at the front maybe. I could like sell the power, I think I get a mushroom tap here. I think that is definitely better than this. But then I don't know where I'd put it. Tap it, tap it, yeah. I'm definitely getting rid of this. I'm definitely doing this, but it just depends where I put it now. Yeah, there's no point in mushrooming the last thing. So if I put it here and it copies the anteater, then the 1-1 one, one tape here will not... No, it will get resummoned, but it'll be right at the front, and then stuff kind of sucks. I don't know. So maybe I have to do it like this. But then it's more likely that it copies the vulture, which sucks as well. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I feel like this is probably the slot, though. So three to double the chance of Anteater. It does double the chance of Anteater. Well, I don't think it doubles, but it goes from like a third to, um, you know, a half. But it also, this also goes from a third to a half, and that's pretty bad. But I still think it's worth it just to save room in case it does get something good. So let's see. Just not a snipe squad, please. Anything but that. Show me. Uh, no, because it shuffled me again. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did. That is a terrible snipe squad. Rip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now mushroom the vulture since it deals four damage on its own. But the thing is, it's still good to have the snipe thing. Like it's a game of rock paper scissors. If I go against someone that insta kills my vulture, then I just lose. And I don't want to make my team like sixty percent weaker just by like giving my vulture worse equipment in case I do go against something that hard counters me. Which we did, like, three games in a row. How come every team we went against shuffled my vulture to the front? Do people just love the sea, uh, seahorse now? It's not good. Seahorse and iguana. Validate vulture, apparently. Yeah. It's not great. How do I play against own pack? I could, like, change that, maybe, but I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, I'll take a cricket, too. I think that's fine. I'm not going to touch any of that. And it will be the Chunky Lizards. Should have gone with Hyena to shuffle my own team. Yes, of course. <laughs> no. Losing already. Okay. Please, get me... Well, I have to keep something, so I will take this. Wait. Do like that. You know what? Cricket to the back. We don't need that to the back. We can have like a 5-1 at the front. I think it's fine. Or a 7-1, whatever it is. 8-1. <laughs> Oh god, and they're buying food already. Weekly versus... Wait, Wiki is versus own pack only. Oh, I didn't know that. I wasn't aware, but that's pretty good. Alright, sure. We take a sheep. There are worse things. What is this? We take a seagull. Pretty good. Uh, I'm probably doing meat bone. It's probably going to be a while until we find something I want to keep on the team for a long time, so I think I still stick for meat bone. I'm going to take a poke as well. You know what? 
Never mind. We do. We do this. We do seagull pug. I want to scale this at least. And now, what sort of order? Let's do it like that. Spent 100 on yes, you better get 6 wins. I mean, I'll try. There's no guarantees. 6 wins is like my, my minimum though. That's what I want to go for every time. Okay, and let's just get rid of the seahorse. This doesn't do anything yet, but I need the pug. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Still don't need anything. The experience doesn't really matter, but this going to 5-6 kind of might help. <laughs> I hope. And this thing has no triggers, so it doesn't matter that, like, you know, cheap's in the game. Not that the equipment would help at all anyway. But, yeah. Looks like we are... I was about to say we weren't going to be okay, because that scared me. Alright, don't need, don't need more of that. Seagull is definitely pressuring me to go for more of a... The same sort of build we've been going for, which is like Vulture Summon Spam. Because if I can level that up, then we can just put Mushrooms on everything, and it could be really, really nice. So, what do I do? I, I could take a Blowfish, but I don't have a way to scale it yet. Let's just roll a bit. Like, I, I have fairly big things on my team. That is not it. I don't like Aardvark. I think. I don't know, maybe I go Aardvark, but I don't force the other team to summon things. Because, like, there is a lot of summon spam in this. Oxo with the sheep? I don't really like... Actually, I don't know if that works. I've been seeing a lot of people complaining that, like, when sheep dies, it doesn't trigger the ox. So you still only get, like, one trigger for it. Because it's, like, bugged, but I don't know if that's been patched or not. Alright, another one of these, great. I could play it separately, but I... No, you know what? I play it separately. <laughs> Get free rolls. Oh, that's way nicer. Okay, now I regret it because we have taken up a slot. But yeah, we'll do this. I'm going to scale Pug because that's like... That is something that I definitely want to keep. Not this. The Seagull. The Seagull stays. Doesn't really matter what gets equipment, but I'm going to put it here. Or the buff, I mean. You're watching an 8 minute video and... Was made to watch the same ad seven times. The same ad seven times? I have never seen that before. And I am very glad I haven't. Alright, so I'm I'm wondering whether I just do this this turn, honestly. I could run it behind us if we have a pug chain. But there's no, like, XP synergy stuff in here. It is just the pug. So, uh, I don't think there's really any point to that. Could get an upgrade and go for a tier 4, but... Actually, may have to do that. Yeah, let's just do it. We need to get something out here. Parrot is really nice. I think... I think we can get rid of the moth, actually. And we can, like, run this at the front. The ability doesn't matter. It's like, I can run that at the front and feel fine. And then we're, like, copying a load of, like, high-level sheep. I will take that. Yeah, sure. Although, now I'm gonna buff the pug. <laughs> I was so sure I was going to keep the seagull, but the pug, we already, we're already two away from getting it to level three, and it's already pretty big. I think we do go for the pug achievement. Yeah, there we go. Not a loss. Worth it. Sounds like watching anything on Crunchyroll. It's been a long time since I saw anything on Crunchyroll. I just remember the ads just annoyed me so much. You know when you're watching the, the free thing anyway. But I'm really watching the anime anime for a while. So we don't have a level three. It's not going to be easy to get to level three yet. Anyway, like we can find chocolates in a couple of turns, but that's a lot of time to have just a dead four four on my team. So I do believe I keep rolling. None of that. Again, I could put meat bone, and then like if we do get something for the sheep, then I can move that. Hmm. I think I. Go for this. I quite like that. Take one of those as well. Getting this leveled up is also nice. If I can get that to level 2 by itself, then I can put the pug somewhere else. And that might be really nice. And again, this still does nothing during combat, and it has no triggers left this turn, so... We're fine. Yeah, let's just send it like that. As long as my pug doesn't get insta-sniped by an, I don't know, an early crocodile or something, I think we're good. Yeah, we're fine against this. 
We should be fine against this. We're not fine against this. That is too big. We are fine against this. In fact, we win. Is Vulture in this pack? It is. You must have only just got here. <laughs> we just ran like two Vulture games back to back. Alright. Well, I definitely want canned food. Now, I'm wondering if I have like a little parrot chain, maybe? I could get rid of the sheep and then have a whole chain of these things. And then I can combine them next turn. Like, I'd have to combine one. And then I could, like, sell the sheep and have that behind it. And then we can have even more anteaters. I think that makes us stronger and lets us uh, delay this without filling up the shop. Yeah, don't use any of that. So that steals first, then this. And that would be level two. Yeah, that's all good. Do it? I already did. Oh. Snipes almost scared me, but they were just like mosquito snipes. Powered up mosquito snipes, but <laughs> mosquito snipes. They can't get me. We're fine. All right. So I could buy one of these to make room, but I think I'm going to roll. We're going to find things we want to buy. And there's one of them. Okay. Snake. I don't know. We don't have we don't have one big thing that's going to survive and we don't have like Many things getting resummed in the same spot. Like, if I put the snake here, we get two triggers out of it. Which is good for now, but it's not good long term. Yeah, I'll take it for now, but I don't think we're keeping that very long. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we are, who knows. I think it's time to leave the, uh, the cans to... Actually, no, no, get rid of that. I'd much rather chocolate. Yeah, so that works. That's fine. <laughs> Level 3 Pug, finally. I'm almost certain I've had it. Oh, that's not what we wanted to see. That is a healthy team, and we don't have... <laughs> uh... Uh? Never mind. I didn't think we had that one. Can you press the button to show what's in the pack for a second? There you go. I'll give you longer than a second, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what to point out. This is everything. Okay, so we actually do have another pug, which is great. Yeah, I'm just going to stack both of those, I think. This, again, it doubles the, like, efficiency of these things, because they're all just, like, scaling their attack at the moment. But I don't think it's worth it. I think three rolls and potentially finding, like, vultures or chocolate is way better. We found nothing. Good job, team. <laughs> I swear, I'm going to have to get rid of the seagull. It's doing nothing. Like, it has bad equipment. There's not really good equipment I can give it, either. Also, what did they snipe? And now my parrot's in a weird place. Oh, we still got the ants. Come on, Kino. One, one more win. Don't worry. Oh, two more wins, I guess. <laughs> We're at five. All right, Taper. I think we do take that. I think I may keep the seagull. If I can get Taper seagull going off, then we may have, like, a really good team here. But then, it's a snake I'd have to get rid of. But Taper isn't copying good things. Like, it'd be copying, like... <laughs> it'd be copying a pug or a parrot most of the time. Uh, It's too rough. Have I got mushroom? It's in the pack, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if I can make this work. Especially since we don't have Vulture. And I'd have to swap out, like, two things. I'm gonna have to pass on it, I think. We really need to find other things. That is a must-take. <laughs> We've got... Pug as well. <laughs> this is so dumb. Am I going to go for like a white tiger parrot with a pug? Oh, all right. All right, we can make this work. And then this, we do lose one ant, but I think that's okay. I can survive that. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. If I like try and level up the anteater, then it just doesn't feel good. And pastry. Pastorzi, sorry. Thank you for the two months. Very appreciated. Sell Pug is it's the achievement I'm going for, though. Plus, it's, like, pretty big. <laughs> uh, either way, I'm buying that. I know it does nothing here. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I could do this. I could, like, get rid of the, um... I could get rid of the Pug, which is kind of sad, because I'm going for the achievement. But we have five more turns, roughly. And then I could, like, get rid of the Pug, go for, like, tap it... Right in front of this. Oh, that could be pretty good. 
Yeah, I feel like this is okay. Choco pug. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think next turn I sell the pug and I... I don't know what I'm doing with the snake, to be honest. But I think I go backline Antita and then tap it. But yeah, for now I think this is it, so... Let's go. Although that's... I just realized this is not... This isn't good. <laughs> no, I didn't look. I just assumed it would work. It was... It is enough, at least. Like, this is big. <laughs> Pilda Pug. Mm, oh. Now, what do I go for here? Because I could like, try and level up the tap here instead. Because that could be a ton of anti to triggers. <laughs> uh. So, the smart thing to do is maybe just like buy one chocolate for the white tiger, sell this parrot, get this parrot. <laughs> Or I could just, like, sell the chocolate and move this in a different place so we don't need the parrot at all. Just sell the chocolate. I mean, like, you know, double into this so we don't need the parrot to copy the ability. And then we can have, like, more things on the squad and we can maybe keep the pug. That might be an idea. But then, again, if I do that, then I need to have, like, near backline pug and then, you know, tap it, thing won't work. Pug white tiger combo. <laughs> That's not a combo. It doesn't work. Because this is, they're both start of battle. But like, you know, oh sorry, it it works, but like, I'd have to feed two chocolates into it. It still won't level up completely, but like, if I had an extra chocolate and put it all in here or something, then it'll only upgrade these two, because the pug will be in the way. It'll be a waste. Uh, either way, I think I do sell the parrot and I get like a small parrot behind it. Wait, wait, no, let's sell the pug. It's time to get rid of the pug. I'm going to do this. We have time. We just need this to make sure it triggers first, so I'll do that. We're going for this Anteater. It will happen. And then I, I could get rid of it. <laughs> Feels so dumb. Where do I put this parrot? I can't have that one behind the white tiger because then it won't work. Get tap it. I know, I will. I think I sell this for the snake, so even if it's just like one trigger there. Let's see, I need a mushroom. I do not need more parrots. Yeah, sure. Chocolate buff stats now? It always did. Anytime you level something up, it gets the plus one, plus one. It's the same as whenever you buy something and you stack them. That is the worst thing that could have happened. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. All right, well, that's a loss, but it's fine. We can tank it. Just give me a mushroom vulture. Vulture is really nice. I'm going to risk this. I know this combo might not work anymore, but I think it's worth, uh, like I said, the risk. Obviously, that does nothing, so we will keep on rolling. And there are still no things. All right, so let's just get that. We need to try and live this turn, and I feel like this is probably the most, <laughs> the most impactful, which I kind of hate, because it really shouldn't be. Okay. Uh, we should be okay with this, right? Oh yeah, we're fine. They have nothing on this. <laughs> ah, such a good team. Alright, so we continue looking. I really need a mushroom for this. That is also really nice. And I need to level up my anteater. Again, these level ups don't mean anything. Buying stats aren't too bad if they keep things alive. You know, I'll buy a pizza. And you know what? I love that hit. Now that's interesting. Hmm. Because I could level this up and then it'll only affect those two. But getting level 3 on that also means like quite a lot for us, so I think I still roll past that. Instead of going for an actual level 3 white tiger. Carrot the tap it? I'd rather mushroom it. The carrot's not bad, but getting a mushroom on this is just like, if it hits the anteater, then it's huge. Huge for the vulture. So yeah, we will just continue going. Gotta save these pro strats. Puny brain can't. I mean, there's not much to this one. It's literally just like Vulture, Antita, Tap it, and <laughs> we have to hope that that doesn't happen too often. Are we okay? We're not okay. We are okay! Oh my god, the stats are so big. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, Mushroom, please. And Anteaters? Anteater? Mushroom? Mushroom? Hmm. 
I don't think I can. Like, this doesn't make too much of a difference, and if I don't find an Anteater next turn, if I buy this, then <laughs> there's, like, no point in the run, so... Oh, okay. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> also, I probably just get rid of this now, because we're obviously not doing anything with it, and I can just swap in a new Anteater. And that would be really nice. Especially if I find a Mushroom. If I find a second Mushroom, then it'll be so good. It'll be consistent. It, it happened again. The bad thing happens. Yeah, that's not good. We might be okay? We're okay! We're not dead! We're not dead! Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, do this. Oh god, I actually like could have sold that at some point and just gone <laughs> for it instead, but now I can't really do that. I know this is kind of wasted, but again, the whole point was to get this double three. Oh, oh no, because it's mushroomed. Oh, I can't. Yeah, no, I, I can't use any of this. We do just have to keep rolling. <laughs> we need to find a mushroom right now. Mushroom. Mushroom! Where are they? Mushroom and Vulture would be nice so it doesn't die. I'm still not convinced. You're probably right at this stage because it does keep getting sniped right at the start. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we're definitely dead because this team is huge and sniping everything I get. Cub, I'm Cub. Oh well. Eight wins. Could pair Vulture... Wait. Could pair Vulture so it at least survives with level one Croc. I mean, the idea was that I, like hopefully trigger before the other team does, because it does get like a ton of stats when it gets to level 3. But yeah, we, we couldn't have it. Alright, I'm gonna go to my, um, no, let's do one more. One more of this. One more so we get to like the hour. <laughs> and then I'll try my buy sell build, build for a bit. See if we have any more luck there. The skilled mouths. Versus in like an hour, yeah. Snake stop the run every time. I know! They're bullying me! Alright, so I'm just gonna stack that and buy this, I think. I could have rolled until I found another Mosquito and Pig, and honestly, it wouldn't be that much of a waste. If I found one, anyway. Oh. We're okay. You just got your first sloth, but you lost ten... You lost ten lives in a row. <laughs> You're at seven wins. I, I could say don't worry, but... It's more like I feel your pain. I've never won a sloth run, so it's, uh, yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> Alright, let's have another one of these, I guess. We do not need more pigs. Yeah, no, we we don't need that. I could have left that behind the cricket, so we get a <laughs> croissant on the zombie cricket, which does literally nothing, by the way. But I decided against it. I didn't think it was necessary. Okay, well, Pug. I think we do take a Pug. I will go for that again. May try it with a different, like, combo this time, though. That's pretty good. Oh, let's wait on that. Okay, so I'm going to buy the Peach, because I'm probably going to keep the Peacock for a while. You know what? There's a load of things I could go for. Let's keep the Frigate Birds if we, fe uh, if we see them from now on. Kind of thought more people would doubt. What are we at? Oh, God, you're right. That's 83% believers. Hmm. The hat that you need to to pay for it, you don't know the name. Oh, the... You know what? I also don't know the name. What is the name of this thing? Early Adopter Hat. <laughs> Excellent choice. Very rare. Okay. So, first, I do this. I don't want that to get the scaling thing, I think. That, I don't mind getting the scaling thing. I'd rather scale health, but for a little while it can, like, scale attack. You know what, maybe I get rid of the Peacock. We don't need the Peacock, and guaranteeing that all the, like, Frigate Bird buffs we get going and go on that is pretty good, so... Let's try it. And maybe... Oh, another one? <laughs> another one already? Uh, yeah, we can't really use any of that. I think scaling for this could be huge. We may get rid of the Seagull soon. Probably before we get rid of that. And I'm gonna let that happen. No, we still do this. Because it gets, like, an extra attack, and, like, a... 310 is much better than a 210. Uh, well, you know. You guys know what I mean, even if I can't words. Peach in a 2-4 body, are you kidding me? What? 
It is a it is a terrible thing. But when you get it leveled up, it is actually pretty good. Like when you buy one of them and it's like, you know, plus four HP. Like sometimes that's all you need. Like this thing, it doesn't need to do damage, it just needs to be survivable. But we don't have garlic or lemon in this pack, so it's it's not it's not great. I will say that. Okay, you know what? These snipes don't do anything. I could give it um you know, whatever the snipey thing is, but it I really don't care. This pineapple. But yeah, I don't care. This level up is really nice. Do I wait a turn? Do I put cucumber on anything? I'm gonna wait a turn. So I'll buy one of these. I will probably buy this as well. Because it will be scaling its attack. So I can probably afford to, but... I'm gonna try and keep the frigate bird, so <laughs> instead I'm gonna let that scale a bit. See if that makes any difference for us. What's my favorite super auto pet? Oh, it, it used to be the penguin. And I still love the penguin, but I haven't been taking it as much recently. But I don't know what my new favorite would be. Yeah, I really don't know. Even more giraffes. Alright, goats. That's sad. This is not a buy-sell build, and I can't really use it for anything. The stats aren't even that good. Ugh. I can just, like, take another one of these. Taking a parrot's kind of cool. Maybe. I don't have anything I can use it for. I'm just going to keep leveling that while it's here, I think. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pears aren't bad, but I still... I'd still rather buy cans. If I can buy, like, three more cans, and I can buy anything from the shop, and it's better than, like, anything I have here. My tiger's great. I agree. Oh. Those are not good trades. Okay. Maybe I'll just take a dip. <laughs> I could always get rid of the, the seagull around a frontline deer for a bit. It's an improvement, but I don't think... Oh, come on, just one level up for this, please. Not that, but I will take. That is also much better. Like, having this at the front could be good. Although, it is an extra, like... Maybe it's not that amazing. Hmm. Leveling it up would be pretty cool, but let's just go for something else, I guess. Okay, love... No, leave the canned food. I love this. But after this, we're looking for chocolate. We need to level up some more than anything. Favorite bird? Uh... <laughs> I need a list. I can't. Off the top of my head, I can only think of like three. I can only think of parrot. So whatever I'm looking at. Okay, lionfish could be useful in this pack. Although, we don't need to remove equipment, so like, I don't know if the weakness is very good. If we had a spammy build, then it'd be amazing. So, like, the vulture type stuff we were doing, or just, like, spam summons. Anyway, I could, like, buy the chocolate and then buy this. That doesn't really do anything, though, so... <laughs> Spite Stego is amazing. Love that. I think I will definitely do this as well. We're keeping the pug. The pug stays. Gorilla is also really nice. Alright, Seagull is out. Oh. Unless I do get rid of the frigate bird. Like, it's nice for the buffing the armadillo, but like... This, this could just be an amazing combo. Gorilla Stego. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, the Stego I'm buying either way. I don't know what I swap out for the gorilla. Like, the smart move is this, obviously. But I wouldn't have been going for it at all if I wasn't going for the, um, the achievement. And I don't need the Stegosaurus or gorilla achievements. I don't feel like I can ditch my scaling yet, either. And I don't want to ditch this. I... Uh... <laughs> How can I scale? What's the food like? There's decent late game food. And I could always just get like carrots on everything. You know what? Let's ditch the scaling then. Let's go. I think we can manage. We will survive this. Just, <laughs> just let it happen. Sadly I can't put the pug behind the stegosaurus. But it's fine. It's not a problem. I'm going to let this tank the first hit hopefully. Sell Stego after I just bought it. And it's like the second best thing on my team. <laughs> oh, sadly I just ruined it. We could have had so many more triggers for the um thing. How do I pronounce Capri Sun? Like that. I don't know if it's right or not, but it's how I've heard it the most. Oh, we buffed the gorilla. I'll take that. I didn't even think that the gorilla would get like a trigger off that. Alright. 
We're at five trophies. I'm not <laughs> using... Yeah, no. I'm going to put this in the Stegosaurus. I think that upgrade is the most useful. Like, even the um the pug isn't going to be amazing. I think getting that to level two would be huge. And then after that, then I can focus hard on like getting either the frigate bird or the pug level up. A hey. easy, easy. Kupri son. No one says it like that. No one says it like that. You can't convince me. <laughs> All right. So I could actually sell this and get a white tiger to put like behind, well, in front of the gorilla. And that can be like my powerhouse thing. And I can just have these two just messing around by themselves. <laughs> I think that would actually be an improvement. Like this isn't doing too much. And if I get the Stegosaurus level up, then I'll have like a 50-50 level three gorilla during the fights. You know, near enough anyway. Let's go. I feel bad about ditching that, but yeah, I could do that. But we need level ups. That's kind of nice. It could be great for the gorilla. It's going to be a while before this like caps out, so I could definitely stick this on there and feel fine about it. Yeah, you need to live. I will... I will buy a pizza. <laughs> I'll buy one pizza. Okay. And yeah, there's not really a reason to have these anywhere else, so... <laughs> it's said like that. I'm using a pug on my frigate bird to get it to level 3. Amazing. See? It's just perfect. It carries fights. Did you know superglue is a is a great exfoliant? It's great at removing skin. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Alright. Again, I could be buying these things, but there's two level ups I, be, I could be going for as well. Or even three. Let's just roll. Anything. Alright, well, I'm definitely taking that. <laughs> There's another one. Uh, nah. Again, it's good. Like if I replace like anything, you know, one of these two and take that, it's much better. But I'm going for these. We're getting one of them at least. I don't know which yet, but we're getting one of them. <laughs> stego the stego. I wouldn't mind another stego train. It's been a while. There you go. He's almost fifty-fifty. Now he can carry. Mushroom Gorilla. What, they'll immediately get paid out? Paid out? I, I read pay out in the chat and it like threw me off. They'll immediately get replaced. So no, I don't think so. Also, the ability on this doesn't really do anything, so I could chuck at this and not feel too bad. Yeah, no, we go for that. We're closer, we don't know when we're going to hit it. Yeah, these is like so tempting, but I need these level ups way worse. Okay, cool, we have the Frigate Bird. <laughs> we have that much at least. And honestly, no, oh, because then we lose the stats from this, and it's kind of a waste. I am pretty tempted to move the pug to the front, though. Having something behind the stego could be nice, but the stego is already kind of a tiny backline thing. Hey, the weakness isn't that bad, because this gets replaced like instantly. Although, this is much more scary. Yeah. How much HP do I have? I'm on lethal. Right. Oh! <laughs> Why does the game hate me? Is this just a terrible pack? I actually don't know what I could do. Obviously, I had two dead slots because I was going for two achievements at once again. But, uh, I hate it. Alright, I'm going to my buy-sell pack.